All right, so we ran out of time in our first video. So this is kind of a wrap up. I wanna thank Mr. McFarland for talking to us today. I think it's important for you guys to see uh, how your teachers feel about reading and what they like and how they got started. So is there any advice, Mr. McFarland, that you would like to give to students about uh, being lifelong readers or finding, you know, what, what would you want to say to them? Um, well, I really don't know. I just keep on reading. I mean, uh, I always hated it in school when they forced you to read certain things. I know right. like elementary school back in the dinosaur ages, we read on stone tablets, you know, back then. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you had to read so many science books, so many historical fiction books, so much whatever. And boy, some of those were so boring. Um, I, I hope we've gotten away from all that. Yep. I think we have. Find what you like, read what you can, and it'll make a different person out of you. A lot of a lot of the good readers are the good ed, are the good kids that the kids that have the best education, and they don't you know a lot of education doesn't come from classroom and from teachers. You learn True. yourself, and you learn yourself through books. Your vocabulary increases, um, everything knowledge. Excellent. You know. All right. Well, thank you, and good luck. No problem on your last year. Ah, it's a wonderful uh, last with year. retirement, and maybe you'll come back and sub Never. with us. Never. Don't year. think so. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Central School District. Maybe, but I doubt it. <laughs> Unless I'm really hard up for money. See you later. Bye.